As Jennifer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out. Faster. Cyrus dropped in for a visit. Grand those swords. It's an honor to be trusty hats. She come for a reason, or just to visit? I don't know. Just have a matter. You didn't ask. Yeah, I'm not one to hold with by their tongue. If they don't want to talk, they shut up.
What brings you to me? Wouldn't matter. be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I say something wrong. You must forgive the Earl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Croc's feast, but... Forgive me. I must go to him. Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Uh, I don't know. Ask around. Great. <laughs> Remember when that storm caught us in Old Bay? I like it were yesterday. Hawk got thrown overboard and near drive. Hoodlery dove in the waves and saved them. What is it you wish? A witcher, eh? And Make yourself your own ass. Mm. Control yourself, my What do you seek, traveler? There's a weapon. Come and treat the arm with me. Watch who you cross. I'm holding out! That hurt! Pardon. I'm looking... Busy here, can't you see? Greetings. Ha! Nary a soul for months. Then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveller? Hungry? Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, yeah, you found her. Or near to. Lass was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Big Thora and Eirik. Who are Berg Thora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. It was the Jarl that helped him win Berg Thora's hand. They lived toward the east end of the village. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Ceres when you see her. I could have married a continental man. <laughs> could you tell us about Can you toss an axe? He brought the can. Greetings. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> Lucky chap you are then. Truth be told, I'm taken. But village is brimming with lovely girls. Did you say lovely girls? Where? Maybe one would be willing to show me around the island. Well, there's Vea, lovely one, Cooper's daughter. Though, nah, she's got teeth like fish hooks. Now, Deborah, there's a fine lass. Teeth bang on straight. Though, 
There is a growth under her right eye. Hmm. Maya's got a right dreamy face. If not for that bit of bone rod on her right foot. Ah, nuts. Now I give it a think. Well, none of these lasses are really appealing. I'm looking for Ceres. The skinny thing. Lovely Dora is true, and she's from an honorable house. But the lass is gone as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father... Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man, Eirik. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, t'other side of the eye. Thanks. Take care. Good luck searching. Not like the good for nothing. Faster. Showed him. We seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Ah, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bit about now. And if not for me, you'd have sat on that rock till you died and rotted. For the love of Freya, all right. Have it your way. You saved me, now what? What need I march around the country singing in your praises? No, just tell me where to find Ceres. Must be daft. You helped me with the sea devils, but that don't mean I'm willing to gossip about Uncrate's daughter. Where's Ceres? Tell me. She asked about our Jarl and his family. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Thanks. Farewell. Ceres. Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. What... what happened? Where am I? Oh, my head! 
Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Udelrek. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udelrek's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelrek. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelrek and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelrek. But his father gave Brockvar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelrek to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelrek to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelrek had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udelrek kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udelrek right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelrek's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udelrick let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelrick didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brockvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udlerik alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udlerik both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelrek? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together.
this about? the sword? Not yet. Wait for me. I found it. Let's go. After you, then. You and my dad, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Want to keep an eye on him? Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Already bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain. His suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? 
Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods, they'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you, and they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? I... Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. These continental dandies come a-strutting them. We gotta drag their... Got a minute? Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mean you don't agree? Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, came when there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. Farewell. See you little Rick. 